वेलकम टू द सपना होम स्कूलिंग चैनल डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी एक्सरसाइज ऑफ फिफ्थ चैप्टर हीट फ्रॉम टेन स्टैंडर्ड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बुक आज मित्रों अपन दावी का साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी का पांचवा दादा हीट हे एक्सरसाइज चेक करना आहोत फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन का फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स एंड री राइट द सेंटेन्स द अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर वेपर इन एयर इज डिटर्माइंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट्स एब्सोल्यूट ह्यूमिडिटी इफ ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ इक्वल मासेस आर गिवन इक्वल हीट their final temperature will be different this is due to difference in their specific heat capacities when a liquid is getting converted into solid the latent latent heat is released observe the following graph considering the change in volume of water as its temperature is raised from 0 degree celsius the difference in the behavior of water and other substances what is this behavior of water called okay mitranno tumhala mahit ache ki panyacha tapman jar vadvat nele shunya pasun tar tacha je density aste ti halu halu vadte 4 degree paryant ani 4 degree nantar parat kami hote okay chal baghu apan yacha kay mantat if the temperature of the water is raised from 0 degree celsius to 10 degree celsius its volume goes on decreasing in the range of 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius it is minimum at 4 degree celsius the volume of water goes on increasing in the range from 4 degree celsius to 10 degree celsius in general when a substance is heated its volume goes on increasing with the temperature thus in the range from 0 degree to 4 degree celsius the behavior of water is different from other substances फक्त पाण्याचं बिहेवियर डिफरंट आहे बाकी सगळ्यांचं वेगळं असतं इट इज कॉल्ड अॅनिमलस बिहेवियर ऑफ वॉटर ओके चलो क्वेश्चन थ्री व्हॉट इज मेन बाय स्पेसिफिक हिट कॅपॅसिटी हाव विल यू प्रूव एक्सपेरिमेंटली दॅट डिफरंट सबस्टेन्सेस हॅव डिफरंट स्पेसिफिक हिट कॅपॅसिटीज द अमाऊंट ऑफ हिट एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड टू रेज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ युनिट मास ऑफ अन ऑब्जेक्ट बाय वन डिग्री सेल्सियस इज कॉल्ड अ स्पेसिफिक हिट कॅपॅसिटी ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट ओके तो एस इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा क्यू अपॉन डेल्टा टी एक्स एम वेअर डेल्टा क्यू इज इक्वल टू अमाऊंट ऑफ हिट एनर्जी सप्लाईड डेल्टा टी इज रेज इन टेम्परेचर एम इज इक्वल टू मास ऑफ एक्स ऑब्जेक्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट टू प्रूव डिफरंट सबस्टेन्सेस हॅव डिफरंट स्पेसिफिक हिट कॅपॅसिटीज टेक थ्री बॉल्स ऑफ आयर्न कॉपर अँड लीड ऑफ इक्वल मास अँड पुट देम इन अ बॉइलिंग वॉटर फॉर सम टाइम वेन देन टेक आउट ऑफ द वॉटर अँड मेजर देअर टेम्परेचर ऑल ऑफ देम विल बी ॲट टेम्परेचर हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस कारण बॉइलिंग वॉटरचं टेम्परेचर हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियसला स्टेबल असतं बॉईल होत असताना ओके त्यामुळे त्या बॉल्सचे जो टेम्परेचर आहे ते पण हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस होणार आहे now put them immediately on the thick slab of wax note the depth that each of the ball goes into the wax okay the ball which absorbs more heat from the water will give more heat to the wax more wax will thus melt and the ball will go deeper in the wax it will be observed that the iron ball goes deepest into the wax lead ball goes the least and copper ball goes to the intermediate depth this shows that for equal rise in temperature the three balls have absorbed different amount of heat this means that the property which determines the amount of heat observed absorbed by ball is different for the three balls this property is called the specific heat capacity question 4 while deciding the unit of heat unit for heat which temperature interval is chosen and why answer while deciding the unit of heat which is calorie the temperature interval chosen is 14.5 degree celsius to 15.5 degree celsius we know that the amount of heat release or absorbed by a body is given as delta q is equal to ms delta t now we also know that one calorie is defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of water through 1 degree celsius thus for one calorie of heat energy the specific heat capacity of water should be 1 calorie per gram 1 degree celsius it is found experimentally that the specific heat capacity of water is 1 calorie okay when the temperature rise 
temperature range is 14.5 degree celsius to 15.5 degree celsius explain the following temperature was time graph okay okay the y axis has a temperature and x axis has a time okay so see this is the graph in the given graph the line ab represents conversion of ice into water at a constant temperature when ice is heated it melts at 0 degree celsius and converts into the water maintaining constant constant temperature of 0 degree celsius this constant temperature at which the ice converts into water is called the melting point of ice also during this transition the ice absorbs heat energy this heat energy is utilized for weakening the bonds between the atmos and molecules in the ice to transform itself into the liquid this heat energy absorbed by ice at constant temperature to convert it into liquid is called a latent heat of fusion once all the ice is transformed into water the temperature of water starts rising it is increasing up to 100 degree celsius line bc in the graph represents rise in the temperature of water from 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius thereafter even though heat energy is supplied to water its temperature does not rise the heat energy is absorbed by water at this temperature and is used to break the bonds between molecules of the liquid and convert the liquid into the gaseous state okay त्याचे वेपर वेपर्स बनण्यासाठी ते एनर्जी यूज केली जाते दस ड्युरिंग ट्रान्सफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम लिक्विड फेज टू द गॅस फेज हीट एनर्जी इज ऍब्झॉर्ब बाय द लिक्विड बट इट्स टेम्परेचर डज नॉट चेंज द कॉन्स्टंट टेम्परेचर ऍट विच द लिक्विड ट्रान्सफॉर्म्स इन टू द गॅस स्टेट इज कॉल्ड द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द लिक्विड द हीट एनर्जी ऍब्झॉर्ब ॲट द कॉन्स्टंट टेम्परेचर ड्युरिंग ट्रान्स ट्रान्सफॉर्मेशन ऑफ लिक्विड इन टू द गॅस इज कॉल्ड द लॅटंट हीट ऑफ वेपरायझेशन question 6 explain the following what is the role of the anomalous behavior of water is preserving aquatic life in regions of cold climate okay the anomalous behavior of water is that it con contracts from 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius and beyond 4 degree celsius it expands thus the density of the water is maximum at 4 degree celsius when the surrounding temperature falls the water in ocean and rivers cools down and say the temperature of whole water reaches to the 4 degree celsius thus the water reaches at the, at the its maximum density at the temperature below okay at the temperature 4 degree celsius okay below this temperature 4 degree celsius the water layer on the surface expands due to anomalous behavior of water okay because of which it de density decreases thus this cold layer remains on top and converts into the ice which acts as an insulator okay because water is an insulator and does not allow the temperature of water layer below it to fall uh, layer below it to fall below 4 degree celsius okay so the water below the ice remains at 4 degree celsius okay in this day in this way a livable temp temperature is maintained for the aquatic life under the oceans and rivers due to the anomalous behavior of water question b how can we you relate the formation of water droplets on the outer surface of a bottle taken out of refrigerator with formation of dew in both the given process the temperature of the air near the surface of bottle or the leaves in case of dew formation in decreases to the dew point thus the air becomes saturated with water vapor as a result water vapor converts or condenses into tiny water droplets which appears on the surface of bottle or leaves in a cold regions in winter the rocks cracks due to the anomalous expansion of water water has a property of expanding below 4 degree celsius thus in the cold regions when the temperature falls down below 4 degree celsius the water content present in the rock expands due to this expansion of water or increase in the volume of the water the rock cracks <coughs> question 7 answer the following <coughs> what is meant by latent heat 
how will the state of matter transform if latent heat is given off <coughs> latent heat of a body is the ma- amount of heat required to change the state of the unit of mass of the body from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas without any change in the temperature if latent heat is given off when then the body in the liquid state will transform to the solid state and the body in the vapor state will transform to the liquid state okay this means the internal energy of the matter decreases when the latent heat is given off question b which principle is used to measure the specific heat capacity of the substances principle of heat exchange is used in the calorimetry method to determine the specific heat capacity of a substance question c explain the role of latent heat in the change of state of a substances according to the kinetic model the total energy of a molecule is the sum of kinetic energy due to its motion which depends on temperature and its potential energy which depends on the force of attraction between the molecules and the separation between them during the phase change of a substances its temperature does not increases and hence its kinetic energy but the potential energy increases or decreases depending on the type of the phase inform- transformation for example while melting of ice the separation between the molecules of ice dec- increases and hence its potential energy thus some energy is required in increases or decreasing the separation between the molecules thus the heat supply during the phase transformation is used up in increasing or decreasing the potential energy and this heat energy is known as the latent energy latent heat okay question d on what basis and how will you determine whether air is saturated with vapor or not on the basis of amount of water vapors present in the air it can be either saturated or unsaturated if the amount of water vapors exceeds the amount that the air can contain then it is called saturated if the amount of water vapor is less than the limit of the amount that air can contain then it is called unsaturated we can determine whether the air is saturated with vapor or not in terms of relative humidity if the relative humidity is 100 the air will be saturated otherwise not question 8 read the following paragraph and answer the question if heat is exchanged between a lot hot and cold object the temperature of the cold object goes on increasing due to gain of energy and the temperature of the hot object goes on decreasing due to loss of energy the change in the temperature continues till the temperatures of both the objects attain the same value in this process the cold object gains heat energy and the hot object loses heat energy if the system of both the objects is isolated from the environment by keeping it inside a heat resistant box mean meaning that the energy exchange takes place between the ob- two objects only then no energy can flow from inside the box or come into the box first question heat is transferred from where to where answer the heat is transferred from the object at high temperature to the object at a low temperature which principle do we learn about from this process we learn the principle of heat exchange from this process i will you state the principle briefly principle of heat exchange states that the heat energy lost by hot object is always equal to the heat gain by cold object provided that the system of both the objects is isolated which property of substance is measured using this principle specific heat of an object can be measured using this principle question 9 solve the following problems equal heat is given to the objects a and b of a mass 1 kg temperature of a temperature of a increases by 3 degrees celsius and b by 5 degrees celsius which object has more specific heat and by what factor answer specific heat capacity of a body is given as s is equal to delta q upon m delta t let q 
calorie of heat is given to both A and B. For body A, S1 is equal to Q upon 1 into 3. Okay, that is Q upon 3. So, calorie is uh, minus 1. Okay. For body B, S2 is equal to Q upon 1 into 5. Okay. So, Q upon 5 calories. Now, S1 upon S2 is equal to Q upon 3 upon Q upon 5. Okay. So, that is Q, Q gets cut and it's 5 upon 3. Okay, because this uh, denominator of denominator becomes a numerator. So, it becomes 5 upon 3. S1 is equal to 5 upon 3. Okay, S2. The specific heat capacity of a body A is more than the body B. And by a factor of 5 upon 3. Question B. Liquid ammonia is used in ice factory for making ice from water. If water at 20 degrees Celsius is to be converted into 2 kg of ice at 0 degrees Celsius, how many grams of ammonia are to be used, evaporated, given? The talent, uh, the latent heat of vaporization of ammonia is equal to 341 calories given. Calorie per gram is given. Okay. Answer. The amount of heat energy released in the cooling 2 kg water from 20 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius. Okay, that is equal to 2 into 1000, okay, and 1 into 2. So, we converted this uh, Celsius, okay, and uh, 0 degree, okay. So, now answer. The amount of heat energy released in cooling of 2 kg. 2 kg means 2000 grams. So, we converted 2 kg into the 2000 gram. Okay, so 2 into 1000. And 20 degree Celsius to into 1, okay. So, that is 40,000 calories, okay. So, amount of heat energy released in the converting 2 kg of water, that is 0 degree Celsius to ice, okay. So, that is again, 2 kg converted into the gram is 2,000. So, 2 into 1,000 and 80, okay, uh, into, uh, is equal to like uh, 1 lakh 60,000 calories, okay. Thus, the total energy required in converting water at 20 degree Celsius of ice is how much? 2 lakh calories, okay. So, grams of ammonia to be evaporated, okay, so that uh, 341 is given, so 2 lakh divided by 341 is equal to 586.5 gram. Question C, a thermally insulated pot has 150 gram ice at temperature 0 degree Celsius. How much steam of 100 degree Celsius has to be mixed to it so that the water of tem uh, temperature 50 degree Celsius will be obtained? Given, latent heat of melting uh, of ice 80 calories per gram and latent heat of vaporization of water is 540 calories per gram. Specific heat of water is 1 calories per gram. Amount of heat required in converting 150 gram of ice into the 0 degree Celsius of water at 0 degree Celsius 150 into 80 is equal to 12,000 calories. Okay. The amount of heat energy required in heating 150 gram of water means from 0 degree Celsius to 150 gram of 150 degree Celsius gram water, okay, the 0 degree Celsius, the 150 gram of water at 50 degree Celsius, okay, from 0 to 50 degree Celsius, okay, so 150 into 1, okay, because it's already given in the gram, okay, so we don't need to convert it to the gram and uh, into 50, okay, because we raise, need to raise the temperature to the 50, so 150 into 50 into 1, how much it is? 7500 calories. Total heat energy required to convert 150 gram of ice at 0 degree to the water at 50 degree Celsius is equal to 19,500 calories. Okay. Let M B M G B the amount of steam mixed in the water with the water to bring the final temperature of system at 50 degree Celsius. The amount of heat released in the converting mg of steam at 100 degree Celsius to water at 100 degree Celsius, okay, uh, is equal to m into 540 is equal to 540m. The amount of heat released in converting m gram of water at 100 degree Celsius to water at 50 degree Celsius, so m into 1 into 50 is equal to 50 m. m. Total heat energy released to convert m gram of steam at 
हंड्रेड हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस टू वाटर एट फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस इज इक्वल टू फाइव नाइन्टी एम कैलरीज यूजिंग द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कैलरी मेट्री वी हैव फाइव नाइन्टी एम इज इक्वल टू नाइनटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड ओके सो एम इज इक्वल टू वॉट नाइनटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड अपॉन फाइव नाइन्टी ओके एंड द डिविजन ऑफ दिस इज थर्टी थ्री ग्राम क्वेश्चन डी अ कैलरी मीटर हैज मास हंड्रेड ग्राम एंड स्पेसिफिक हीट जीरो पॉइंट वन कैल किलो कैलरीज के जी पर ग्राम के जी डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके इट कंटेंस टू फिफ्टी ग्राम ऑफ लिक्विड एट थर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस हैविंग स्पेसिफिक हीट ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट फोर किलो कैलरीज पर ग्राम डिग्री सेल्सियस इफ वी ड्रॉप अ पीस ऑफ आइस ऑफ मास टेन ग्राम एट जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस वॉट विल बी द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द मिक्सचर एंसर लेट द फाइनल टेम्परेचर ऑफ द मिक्सचर बी टी द अमाउंट ऑफ हीट रिक्वायर्ड इन कन्वर्टिंग टेन ग्राम ऑफ आइस टू जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस टू वाटर एट जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके इज इक्वल टू टेन इंटू एटी इज इक्वल टू एट हंड्रेड कैलरीज टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ हीट रिक्वायर्ड टू कन्वर्टिंग टेन ग्राम ऑफ वाटर टू जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस टू वाटर एट टी डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके इज इक्वल टू टेन इंटू वन इंटू टी इज टेन टी टोटल हीट एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड टू कन्वर्ट टेन ग्राम ऑफ आइस एट जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस टू द वाटर एट टी डिग्री सेल्सियस इज इक्वल टू एट हंड्रेड प्लस टेन टी अमाउंट ऑफ हीट रिलीज टू रेज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ कैलरी मीटर एट थर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस टू टी डिग्री सेल्सियस इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड इंटू जीरो पॉइंट वन इंटू थर्टी माइनस टी दैट इज टेन इन द ब्रैकेट थर्टी माइनस टी अमाउंट ऑफ हीट रिलीज टू रेज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ टू फिफ्टी ग्राम ऑफ वाटर एट थर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस टू टी डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके इज इक्वल टू टू फिफ्टी इंटू जीरो पॉइंट फोर इंटू इन द ब्रैकेट थर्टी माइनस टी इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड इन द ब्रैकेट थर्टी माइनस टी ओके टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ हीट रिलीज इन द प्रोसेस इज हंड्रेड एंड टेन इन द ब्रैकेट थर्टी माइनस टी ओके बिकॉज टेन प्लस हंड्रेड ओके दैट इज हंड्रेड एंड टेन यूजिंग द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कैलरीमेट्री वी हैव हंड्रेड एंड टेन इन द ब्रैकेट थर्टी माइनस टी दैट इज एट हंड्रेड प्लस टेन टी सो टी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी पॉइंट एटी थ्री डिग्री सेल्सियस डियर फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लाइक वीडियोज यू कैन सब्सक्राइब द चैनल सो यू कैन गेट टू वॉच द मोर वीडियोज ऑन दिस चैनल एंड प्लीज लेट मी नो विच वीडियो यू वॉन्ट नेक्स्ट थैंक यू वेरी मच